Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Today, I bring you my son's new puppy, Gary. Because I figure even if you don't like the AutoCAD tip, how could you resist a tip with a puppy in it? Oh, nobody can resist that. All right, down with Gary. <laughs> now back to you. So today I'm going to be sharing with you quite a few tips that have to do with the wheel on your mouse, right? We use our mouse all the time, but I want to make sure you know absolutely everything that you can do with that wheel. I have about five or six tips. Hopefully, it'll be one or two that you didn't quite know about. All right, so, of course, the basics, right? We know you can zoom in, you can zoom out with the wheel. That's pretty basic, right? If you hold the wheel down, you can pan around. Everybody knows that. But did you also know that if you hold down the control key and you hold down the mouse wheel, that it's kind of like you have like a joystick. <laughs> this is one of those useless but oh so fun facts to know about AutoCAD. At some point, if you're not careful, your drawing will disappear into the abyss. But of course, as you know, a double click does a zoom extent. It brings everything back, right? A double click on the wheel on the mouse does a zoom extent. All right. So what else? Well, you can control how fast you zoom in and you zoom out with your mouse wheel. Did you know that? By using a system variable called zoom factor. Right now it's set to 60. If I set it to say three, now you'll see it takes quite a bit of time for me to zoom in. Okay, so we're gonna put that back to 60, but you might wanna file that one away with um, fun things to do to your coworker. <laughs> it's be, she didn't hear it from me. So those are a few tips. You probably knew most of those. Maybe not the control and holding down the mouse wheel, but I'm gonna jump over to a 3D drawing. I'm gonna use quick view drawings to do that. And we'll come over to our lovely little dental chair there. I use this all the time, don't I? So if you hold down the sh shift key first, and then you hold down the wheel on the mouse, you can orbit. That's a nice, fast way to orbit in 3D. Hopefully, if you work in 3D, you already know that. But how about this one? This is pretty crazy. If you hold the mouse wheel button down first, and then you hold the shift key, oh, it does something different. It actually does a pan, but only orthogonally, only horizontal or vertically. Ah, interesting. That's different, right? So there were quite a few tips that have to do completely with the wheel on your mouse. Hopefully you learned at least one that you didn't already know. I hope that you enjoyed a great holiday season. And on behalf of myself and Gary the puppy, I hope to see you back here in two more weeks. Thank you for joining me.